what started off as a professional encounter quickly evolved into a romantic endeavor. With Lydia's teenage son, Steve's life in the limelight, the two beat the odds and develop a resilient bond. Today, Lydia and Steve will tie the knot in holy matrimony. The couple's black tie event is set to kick off from 4 p.m. Despite having had several sessions of band practice previously, this anxious groom got off to an early start for yet another rehearsal and sound check. Meanwhile, at the church area, the day suppliers tie in all the loose ends on the decor and set up. Meanwhile, at the bride's place, everyone is relaxed and easy as the ceremony will be starting at 4 p.m. in the evening, and the bride is taking her time as her hair is being fixed. Back at the grooms, the groomsmen are dressing up, but the groom is still doing a sound check with his band. With time running out pretty fast, will he get ample time to prepare? I'm Kevin, and this is Samuel, Steve's brother. I'm uh, Steve's good friend uh, from way back uh, in primary, secondary, we've known each other for so long. Uh, we are happy that uh, today uh, we are uh, formally uh, introducing him to the uh, marriage life. Uh, we are happy for him. So from here, we're very late by the way. From here, we're living here, we're going to Kilelesha to pick up the, the bride. And then from there, we come back here again. But you're hoping you're not too late. I hope we would be fine for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, for them. A friend's intervention helps pull the groom away from his ban to the more urgent matter at hand. Steve Bonner. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, time is on our side.
back at the grooms. I'm looking forward to the next two hours just to be told that now I'm married. <laughs> and once that moment is done, and then just to enjoy myself, dance and dance and dance and dance. So I just want to have fun. Yeah, have a good time. I hope that she's okay. Um, I pray she's fine. Um, because if anything happens to her between there and coming to the church, I don't know how she will take it, but I pray and I believe everything is fine. Everything seems to be panning out just fine, but there are few hitches. Okay, my best man and I wear the same shirt size, so we have two two, two uh, black button shirts. Everyone else is wearing a white button shirt. Then my best man and I are wearing black button shirts. So what happened is we couldn't get a proper size for him that fit him completely. So what we did is we bought two shirts. So the one that I was supposed to wear is what he wore. But the good thing is they're the same shirts and the same size. Yeah. It's just that his had been adjusted a bit. Mine was not adjusted, so he wore mine. Mine, this one has not been adjusted. So hopefully he just fit as a glove. <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> Challenge number one, I was supposed to wear uh, a white jacket with my tuxedo. The jacket came, it was extremely big, um, so I cannot wear it. Um, I didn't even get time to fix it because my suit only arrived on Thursday. Everything that I'm wearing arrived on Thursday. So I'm just going to wear the full tuxedo for the church service. Uh, number two, um, I think just time has been a bit of a challenge. I mean, just getting in, in and out of the sound checks and ensuring everybody's out in time was a bit of a, it, it was a, bit of a, of, of a hard thing. But... Um, I think other than that, everything seems to be just falling in place. Fine. I'm sure it'll be, it'll be awesome. And the groom seems to have a change of heart on his day's outfit. Um, what, what I was wearing previously was actually uh, my plan B in case my suit didn't come. Um, I wanted to do the tax uh, for the church service and then uh, change to the reception, but uh, I didn't like the way it looked, so I just decided to just put on my first choice, which is the three-piece, as everybody else has. Um, like, I think the story with the shirt also, I think, just made it look uh, harder, because I didn't like the other shirt. Yeah. Back at the bride's home, Liddy is getting all dolled up for the big day. Napenda lidi yangu, napenda lidi yangu na roo moja. Mimi na muambea maisha mema, mungu wa mparika mpatie, watoto wa sichana na mijana. Apate watoto wa sichana na mijana. Na apariki hata mme wake, wakae na amani. Jubilant friends and family members in setting the mood for the day join traditional Isikuti dancers. They have all come to escort the bride for her ceremony. Steve wants nothing short of a good mood for his soon-to-be wife, and we can only hope that her mood is right. My auntie, Mrs. Catherine Nambisia, the owner of Classic Functions, is the best decorator in town. And one thing I know is she has done her best. I haven't seen, but give it to her. I'm sure it's amazing. I wanted all my maids to wear white because everyone on my lineup is my very close friend and family. And I wanted everyone to be as beautiful as I would look. And I also don't believe in this thing that when the maids wear white, they outshine the bride. I don't believe in that. Yeah. So Nothing has really spoiled my day. In the morning, I was a little agey because of timekeeping, but that didn't really ruin my day. I'm just a hands-on person. I have a best maid who's also very hands-on. So today I was a bit agey when people were not here. When the makeup artists came, everyone was here, and the girls were not here because they were getting some stuff from somewhere. I got a little agitated, but they were here, and hey, we are done.
the bride and her bridesmaids are rushing to finish up before the entourage picking up the bride arrives. But not before relishing picture-perfect moments with her loved ones. Meanwhile, at the church ceremony venue, it is a quarter past three and guests are trickling in looking coordinated as per the invitation card. The decor and setup, check. The officiating pastor, check. The groom, check. Guest, check. Everything is in place and everyone is patiently waiting for the bride's arrival for the ceremony to start. Back at the bride's place, it's now half past three. The entourage picking up the bride and her party is finally here. It's now 20 minutes to 4. The ceremony is supposed to start off at exactly 4 p.m., and since it is being held approximately 16 kilometers from the bride's place, a 19 minutes drive, Lydia and her team take a record time of 6 minutes to the venue. Accompanied by his best man, the groom takes to the aisle. We've come a long way. Followed closely by the bridal party. And then, true to his promise, Steve serenades his bride down the aisle with one of her favorite classics. Live without the one he cared for me until it was time. With Lydia's dad being unwell, her mother takes the honors of walking her down the aisle. The one I've waited for, my love's design. The one he kept just for me until it was time. Before officiating, the minister presides over the ceremony. A pre-recorded track of the Lord's Prayer is played, one of Steve's personal favorites. Oh, 
And being the iconic East African artist he is, as one would expect, Steve's wedding had the very best of a live band's entertainment. I promise to be there when you're wrinkled and gray. I promise to wake up every day with a desire to make you happy than I did yesterday. I promise to never forget that we are always better together. I promise to always pray for guidance from God on how to run our family. I promise to always be worthy of your love. I, Steve, do take you, Lydia. Do take you, Lydia. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To live with you from this day forward. To live with you from this day forward. And so I give you my solemn pro promise. And as I give you this ring. And as I give you this ring. Remember. Remember. I am. I am. The man. The man. The man. <laughs> I will. I will. Be an amazing wife. Be an amazing wife. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. Rock your world. Rock your world. Make sure you get there and back. Make, make sure you get that <laughs> with this ring with this ring i declare i declare i am i am the woman the woman you have always had you have always had in your dreams in your dreams baby baby i will i will love you love you rock your world rock your world. i am the woman i'm the only woman <laughs> in your life. A special performance by the bride's niece outright blows everyone's mind. That is what he shall be doing with the title deed. <laughs> 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 While the newlyweds and their bridal team take off for the photo shoot, their guests get a chance to mingle and chat over cocktails. Steve and Lydia plan to enjoy dinner with their guests after the photo shoot. They were I like real. the promises Steve made to Lydia. They, they were, they were like real. Friends. Will you be there when I'm old and gray? Yeah. Will you be there tomorrow when my back is aching and there's no one to rub it for me? Will you be there when I cannot shock your world? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And he promised to be there. The photo shoot session, however, is taking longer than anticipated, and although famished, the guests patiently wait for the bridal party's arrival. Finally, the couple is done with the photo shoot session, and they are welcomed into the reception in song and dance the Kenyan style. Hey, 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 hey,
Following a few speeches from close family and friends, the couple cuts the cake and the party moves to the next course. Unknown to their guests, Steve has a special performance lined up for them, and his new wife introduces this exceptional section. But first, there is a bridal bouquet to deal with. In the most unconventional scenarios, Lydia ditches the old tradition of a bouquet toss and instead chooses to hand over her bouquet to cousin Sarah. So Sarah, I'm giving you this flower as a sign that you are too beautiful to be single. Any single man in here, how can a girl let us be single? Wait, 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 wait. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the surprise you've been waiting for. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to have a good time? It's now well past midnight, and as guests leave at their pleasure, the night fades away to the sound of Steve's band music. An African girl, an African lady, la petite me. Onuwala, onuwanje, me na African, African celebrate. Cherry amour, nyati ma wololo. Wish Steve and Lydia a life full of bliss.